Hey everybody. Now the easiest difference I see in uh, ZBrush 4 R6 uh, right off the top uh, is in the past uh, when you have lengthy limbs or you know areas that extrude like that uh, let's see let's spice this up a little bit BIN little palms or something or ears yeah um, let's see you would control shift and select one of the brushes like uh, clip curve right and you would want to like slice right through that and it looks like it just cut right through that but if you rotate uh, let's do another example yeah what hold on yeah as you can see it doesn't it just like smashes it yeah this is a good example we cut right through there and it, it sliced that out but it did leave this control Z a few times okay this is back to what we had originally uh, if you press control shift and select the brushes again um, these have been modified uh, clip or trim circle trim curve and trim lasso and trim rectangle those have been modified so let's uh, trim rectangle we have that selected and then when we cut it cuts it all the way through anywhere you want to really really cool this will be nice when you're making all sorts of things uh, control Z okay control shift and this will be an, uh, a good one to use trim curve so we have that selected and you click and drag and alt 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 as many times as you want to and it cuts right through that really really nice yeah so that is the first big improvement I see in 4R6 and stay tuned for the next video thanks everybody